And now, Mick. You want to talk about Gimme Shelter? Do you want to talk about Gimme Shelter? Not really. <laughs> um, but I can. I'm very open to talking about <laughs> Gimme Shelter. <laughs> um, it was released in 1969, and we did a lot of versions of it, and it was very exciting. Well, do me a favor. We have it queued up here, so let's play it. Go and on. if you don't mind, talk over it as we're listening to it, talk if that's over okay. It. Yeah. Sacrilegious. <laughs> I could rap over it if you like. <laughs> Just tell us what we're hearing. So here's the open. Great to have a woman come and do the rape murder verse, or cause, or whatever you want to call it. And so we uh, randomly phoned up this poor lady in the middle of the night. And uh, she arrived in her curlers. <laughs> no kidding. Mary came in her pink curlers. I think uh, Mary, Mary, I'm sorry for to tell you on this. I, it wasn't a dressing gown. I think she got dressed by then. And she came in and knocked this off, this rather odd lyric. It's not sort of the lyric you give everyone, you know, rape, murder is just a short way. But she proceeded to do that in like one or two takes, which is pretty amazing. And she really got into it, as you can hear on the record. And she, you know, she joins the chorus and it's been a great uh, live song ever since. Her voice really, uh, really cracks at the high point of yeah. the song. Yeah, yeah, she does a great job on this. Who, who did what in writing this song? Uh, Keith wrote the tune and I wrote a lot of the words. What were you thinking when, when you were coming up with the words for Forgive Me Shelter? Um, I, I can't remember really anymore, to be honest, but... Um, you know, it was a very moody piece about the world closing in on you a bit. When it was recorded, like, early 69 or something, mm. you know, it was a time of war and tension. And so that's reflected in this tune. Kind of apocalyptic, really. Yeah, kind of, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's still, it's still wheeled out when um, big storms happen, as they did the other week, you know. And um, it's been used a lot to evoke natural disaster. Oh, that's my harmonica part. Yeah, it's only two notes, but it shows we can do two notes. Let's hear it. Let's crank that up right now. Go on in. It is just two notes. It is just two notes. <laughs> that's because in a crummy key for the harmonica. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You shouldn't have told me that. It just spoiled the whole illusion of what it's you're doing. It's not spoiled. It just shows what you can do in two notes. <laughs> you don't have to use economy of style. Such a physical thing that you do. And you're you're how old now? I don't know. Uh -huh. That's Charlie's line. <laughs> <laughs> how old are you, Melissa? I'm 50. Oh, that's a nice age. It's a round number. It's a very nice age. Uh